Hi, I'm Suzanne Tregenza Moore, online marketing strategist and founder of the Implementation Station. And in honor of Father's Day, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about your husband, presumably, or your spouse, and your business. And, um, you know, I've struggled in my business with um, feeling that my husband was supporting me with him, um, you know, feeling that I was spending too much time on my business. I think that most entrepreneurs have experienced at least some of that. And um, there are a few things that I've learned along the way that I wanted to share today. The first is um, I was at an event about a year, a year ago and a fabulous woman, uh, Stacy Martino, stood up, and um, her business is loveandpassioncoach.com. And she said, if your husband feels that he is in competition with your business, he's not going to support you in it in the way that you want him to. And that really struck a chord with me. It taught me a lot, and it really made me think about how I treated my business versus how I treated my husband. And, um, and so as you are working your business, I want you to keep that in mind. And I really want you to think about, are you putting your business first? Are you putting it ahead of your husband? Are you putting it ahead of your family? And how do you think, especially if you're struggling with this, how do you think that's making your spouse feel? Um, and a couple of ways that you can kind of include him or her a little bit more is really share the positives and the negatives of your business. You know, I think a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we feel like we don't want to, we don't want to tell our spouse what's going on because, um, because they may say, you know what, if it's not going well, why don't you just stop? Like, why are you making all this effort if it's not going well? And um, so we kind of keep that stuff inside and we don't share it. But the truth is, is that your spouse wants the best for you and loves you, and your business is an extension of you. So um, he or she is going to want that business to do well and is going to feel the same frustration when it doesn't do well. You just need to be open about it so that they can. So you give them the opportunity to support you, right? And the other thing is really carve out with your spouse when you're going to work on your business and when you're not going to work on your business so that he or she feels like, okay, there may be a Saturday that I don't have my spouse with me because she's focused on her business, but we've agreed that that's the only Saturday this month that she's doing that. And so that kind of puts things in perspective for your spouse and, and shows him or her that you know, you really do care about creating that family time or that one-on-one -on -one time. So those are my suggestions today. I hope that you find them valuable. And if you do, I would love for you to tweet them and like them and share them with all your friends. Again, my name is Suzanne Tregenza Moore, online marketing strategist and founder of The Implementation Station. Have a great day.